Let's look at fintech regulations and compliance, which are the laws and guidelines that govern the industry as a whole, and why it's important to ensure that fintech companies comply with these regulations. As the name implies, fintech regulation and oversight refer to the legal and regulatory framework that individual countries set up, which govern the development and operation of fintech companies and their services. Now, this is important because fintech exists outside of the traditional financial services regulatory framework. So it's crucial to make sure that customers of fintech companies also have the same protections afforded to them. And the goal of the regulation is to ensure this consumer protection, as well as maintain overall stability in the financial system, and to prevent financial crimes, such as money laundering and fraud. And lastly, to help promote innovation. You'll also hear terms such as fintech compliance and security, and that's measures that fintech companies must have to ensure that the products and services comply with the relevant laws and regulations, as well as to protect customer data and financial transactions from security threats such as hacking and fraud. Firstly, let's talk about consumer protection. When it comes to the legacy financial industry, financial regulators are very experienced with setting standards for financial products and services, ensuring transparency in transactions, and safeguarding against fraudulent activities. However, in the fintech space, there are new challenges that regulators face to ensure that fintech companies provide high quality and safe financial products and services to consumers, including clear and understandable terms and conditions. So therefore, regulators require fintech companies to provide clear and concise information about the costs, fees, and risks associated with the products and services that they provide. This in turn helps consumers make informed decisions. Furthermore, fintech companies must also have robust security and anti-fraud measures in place to prevent unauthorized access to consumer information, to protect against identity theft, and to prevent fraud. For example, the Monetary Authority of Singapore, the MAS, requires fintech companies to implement cybersecurity measures such as multi-factor authentication to protect consumer data and financial transactions. Regulations also require fintech companies to maintain strict data protection standards, including measures for securely storing, handling, and sharing consumer information. Some of these data security measures include encryption and secure storage, as well as to report data breaches to relevant authorities. For example, the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation, the GDPR, requires fintech companies to obtain consent from customers before collecting and processing their personal data, and to report data breaches within 72 hours, as well as maintaining adequate customer support channels to ensure that consumers can easily access help and support when needed. To also better protect consumers, there's growing interest in digital identity solutions that can be used to verify the identity of individuals and businesses in a secure and efficient manner. For example, India's Adhar system is a national digital identity platform that provides a secure and scalable way of verifying the identity of individuals. We also see regulators who want to ensure that consumer rights are protected when fintech firms obtain sensitive financial and personal information. So, for instance, the concept of open banking, where customers accept the terms of service of the banking entity while opening an account. After that, third-party service providers can use open banking APIs, which stand for Application Programming Interfaces. An example of this would be if you wanted to switch your checking account to a new financial institution. A fintech company could easily view all your data and make this process more seamless and efficient if you want to switch. Next, fintech regulation and oversight aim to maintain stability in the financial system by preventing systemic risks and ensuring that fintech companies comply with relevant laws, such as anti-money laundering and counterterrorism financing regulations. 
For example, fintech companies are required to implement anti-money laundering, also known as AML, and know your client, called KYC, standards imposed by a regulatory body which oversees fintech companies and other relevant entities. So let's say an online peer-to-peer -peer lender in the UK would like to open an online account for a new customer. While the UK Financial Conduct Authority, or the UK FCA, would require the fintech company to implement AML and KYC procedures, as well as to report any suspicious transactions to the relevant authorities. Fintech companies must also maintain sufficient capital and liquidity to meet their obligations to customers. For example, in the United States, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the CFPB, requires fintech companies to also maintain certain capital and liquidity requirements and comply with relevant regulations, such as the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act. Lastly, fintech companies must implement effective risk management practices to ensure that they can identify, measure, and manage the same risks associated with their products and services, just like any other legacy financial institution. For example, in Australia, the Australian Securities and Investments Commission, the ASIC, requires fintech companies to implement effective risk management practices as well as to maintain accurate and complete records of all their financial transactions. Fintech regulation also aims to promote innovation by creating an environment that is conducive to the development and growth of fintech companies, while also ensuring that fintech companies operate in a manner that's consistent with the wider financial system. For instance, the FCA in the UK aims to help fintech companies through their Innovate initiative which provides support and guidance to fintech companies as they navigate the regulatory landscape. They've also established a sandbox that allows fintech companies to test new products and services in a controlled environment without incurring the full costs and regulatory burden of obtaining a license. And lastly, since fintech firms operate across borders in many instances, there's increasing cooperation between countries to regulate fintech companies internationally and to ensure that they comply with local laws and regulations. It's fairly easy for regulators to audit or check the compliance, say, of a traditional brick-and-mortar bank as their physical branches to visit. But what about online banks with no branches that operate outside a given jurisdiction? That's why regulators have come together to set international regulations in an attempt to address this. For example, the Global Financial Innovation Network, the GFIN, is a concerted network of financial regulators from around the world that aims to promote cross-border cooperation and the further development of fintech regulation across borders.